and I'll start sharing my screen. And if some other folks want to join us in a little bit, that's good. So I want to welcome everybody. It's uh, the team huddle. The day is September 1st, 2015. Um, this little logo that I happen to add to our uh, huddle is what Dr. Anderson says will one day stand for health. Just as, just as the Apple stands for no. Apple computers. And this is, the, he said this at least four or five years ago, and I already see it being the case. Uh, we, we have the uh, annual um, walk across America uh, on the 17th of September. I've already let Ted know. We have done this for two years. This is our third year. Marsha, it's at eight o'clock. So we know what you'll be doing at eight o'clock, <laughs> unless you change your mind. And we meet up at the office and we just walk around the park mm -hmm. and we take the tally of our walk. And Cheryl, if you happen to go walking, you can tell us I walked one mile or two miles and we can add your total in too. And really? we uh -huh. And we submit this to, and every year uh, in September, they have a uh, optimal health day. It's a day to walk to uh, walk for all of those people who can't walk because of disease or gone because of disease, because that's what we are all we all have in common is that we are trying to avoid disease by staying healthy so you need that, to walk around your neighborhood or can you like walk on the you, treadmill at you the can gym? walk on the treadmill uh we're going to have people on bicycles we're going to have dog walkers mike sullivan's going to be juggling um marcia's been there so she's seen that before yeah. Uh, but uh, Marsha Novita has not seen that, but Mike <laughs> Sullivan, he juggles, and he has made it to both of our uh, Walk Across America annual optimal health walk, and uh, he has juggled around the whole park. He hopes to bring Rick, you know, Rick and Loretta? Yeah. He hopes that uh, Rick joins him to do this walk around the park. So oh, cool. Now, that will be covered. Uh, in the um, uh, nightly news, when they um, uh, when the news is uh, posted that night, mm -hmm. uh, usually the eleven o'clock news, they have tallied the miles that was walked across America for America to get healthy. It's really getting kind of cool. It's getting to be a big thing now. And when it started, nobody knew about it. But year three is getting a lot of national coverage. So that's cool. And who's in the health games and uh, who's spreading the word? And spreading the word is about helping others. And uh, I've never done anything but spread the word. So I know that a lot of us feel like when we say something to somebody, they feel like we're trying to talk them into it. And so that keeps a lot of us from saying anything to anybody. I mean, when I started uh, recruiting for the healthy games, I uh, actually had family members and friends that avoided me because oh. <laughs> it's true because they felt like that. Uh, if they saw me, I was going to ask them to do something. So uh, I never let that bother me because I knew in my heart what I was doing was helping people. And there are people that have benefited because you can't tell who's listening. And uh, I had thought that I would show you a little um, genealogy here in terms of my own personal experience. And I don't know that you'll like it. And I'm keeping my screen slow a little so I can use these pictures as I want to. But when I was at my heaviest, and that's me there on the right, uh, I, you know, I, I would say I put a good front on, but I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll mute you, Marsha. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, and then I'll unmute you. Um, but uh, I truly had said nothing works and nothing ever will. This is how I'm going to be. I got to uh, live with myself this way. And my, my little sister, she, uh, she had found out about Take Shape for Life from uh, Buddy. Uh, she works with Buddy. And uh, we happened to be vacationing right after she found out about it. And this is what she looked like when she was telling me about it. And I said, oh, yeah, Mary, don't let me know if it works. Okay. <laughs> that, that was um, my response to that. 
where did my thing go? Don't tell me everything died on me. Um, okay, where's my PowerPoint? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Well, what can I do? I'm going to stop sharing real quick and see if this is okay. hidden behind here. That's what I'm thinking. I got it saved regardless. Hi, Katie. Hey, is Katie here? I saw her name pop up. Oh, my God. Hi, Katie. Katie. How are you, honey? Hi, Katie. Hey. I lost my PowerPoint. I'm going, I'm looking for it. It, it disappeared on me. Mm -hmm. So, is he so how this? have you been, Katie? Talk to us. Good. Um, school starts tomorrow for teachers. Uh -huh. And school, kids come back next I week. Sorry, before. Yeah, I got a shower. I got a new laptop. I don't know where the camera is. Oh, you're yeah, looking for We can see you. We see, see you. you. I see yeah. you, but I feel like I'm looking up, like, in the ceiling. Okay, we're going to unplug this. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Okay, Marsha, I'm going to un unplug you there. And I wanted to say that last week when everybody uh, muted themselves, I didn't have near the fun I have when you guys' mics open. So let's uh, interact with each other. I feel better when we do. Mm -hmm. All right, Katie, I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint, baby. Okay. It's good to see you. Yep. Uh, it's good to have you in the room again. It made me smile when I yeah, saw that. Yeah, I was seeing you guys in, like, all summer. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where I was at, my little sister. Hmm. And then one day I get on Facebook very quickly after that, oh. and Mary is up at the Washington Monument and she looks like this and it hasn't been long since I saw her and I finally felt some hope and I said you know like, I'm, I'm going to do this I talked to Tony about it and uh, uh, he was concerned about another one and how much uh, will it cost and then he agreed that if it would do for me what it do for her it was worth the mm. chance of, of trying and that's how I got exposed to that program but in talking about inviting people then you look how Mary got to me. She got to me through a job where she worked at. Her uh, boss is my coach's husband, and that's Buddy. Mm -hmm. And then Buddy came into the system by Janet. And this is Janet's before. Let me move her down. Can't believe it. So we all do. We all have done the same thing. And it doesn't want to stay, does it? There you go. And then this is Janet now. Wow. So quite quite a bit of difference. Let's let's lower this one again so you can see that. And this is the way the story goes. And this is why wow. we're we're all here. Then uh, Marsha get, gets into the, the program here, and she uh, gets Dick introduced into the program, and then, of course, Dorothy gets in the program, and then after Marsha, and I'm not even uh, tapping into the people who do the um, uh, challenges, and so then I have all of these other, these other little uh, this is Dorothy. You see her. This is my coach, David. This is my coach, Jerry and Marion. This is Michelle. This is Ernie and Helene. And this is Barbara and Betsy. And then, of course, with Colleen having learned from her mom and dad the benefits of Take Shape for Life, we end up with Connor. So when we're talking about, <laughs> we're, yeah, what we were talking about, Katie, is, is spreading the word and not feeling like that you're uh, you know, you're trying to convince somebody of doing something. It's simply letting them know that something is happening and that you're taking part of it and that you enjoy it. Never, never, ever saying to them, would you like to do it? You never know if sometime in the future somebody that was listening to you would benefit from it. 
So on our Zoom meetings, I want to make them, uh, I want to make them matter. I want to make them fun. I, I want to be able to help everybody, get everybody in there. Uh, sometimes there's a, a, a link to the, um, we covered the muting when necessary. I, yeah, I'd rather have your mics open. I'd rather hear breath on the other end than uh, just hear myself talking. Um, but uh, <laughs> the, um, uh, Dorothy and Marsha have both said what they will do when somebody's having computer problems is they we will provide their phone numbers on that day and instead of me interrupting the meeting to help them unless it becomes necessary for me to be the one uh, Marsha and uh, Dorothy are both capable of helping somebody get on the zoom and that way we can just continue as we need to rather than holding everybody up uh, Don, are you raising your hand, honey? I did a long time ago, and I can't remember why. Uh oh. <laughs> Was it about Molly? No, she hasn't got back to me. Okay. So. Did, <laughs> oh. Uh huh. It's not, it's by itself. Okay. Where did you, did you take it down? I just took it down. Okay. I saw it. I just took it down. Yeah. So this morning, you know, our. our uh, the U.S. Open started, you know, and they did a piece on Serena Williams and about the, um, what do they call it, body shaming. And I ha it stopped me in my tracks because how could somebody be body shaming Serena Williams? I mean, th there's no one more fit than she is, and uh, I think she looks beautiful. But despite her streak of dominance, reports have finally caught on to something that's actually old news. Williams makes less money annually than Sharapova. According to the 2015 rankings of Forbes, Sharapova best, best Williams by 5.1 million each year. And that's an alarming figure, especially considering that Serena earned 5 million more than Sharapova in salary and winning. So obviously she is the one that the, that the, the social media wants to see she's the one that markets well and i find this interesting because with men athletes you know she has sexism racism going on with her as well in terms of people body shaming but it's a shame that we we attach any kind of meaning to ourselves our body is what carries us through each day mm -hmm. and taking care of it is important to us but nothing else about us changes as our body goes up and down unless it's our health and that's the reason that we want to uh, take care of ourselves. You know, Tony and I, we love that we have young friends. We're six, I'm 65, he's 84. And I don't think of you guys as younger than me when I'm sitting here talking to you. I look at you as in the same boat as me. <laughs> and we're all trying to do the same thing. Sometimes good, sometimes not so good. But uh, I think um, not, um, not uh, thinking bad of yourself is really important to being successful overall because it won't do you any good to get where you want to go if you still haven't accepted yourself the way you are because how you look has nothing to do with who you are and the quality of, of your life. Uh, body shaming can happen to anyone and body shamers are everywhere. Does anyone want to speak to body shaming or have they had any personal experience with it or just just a comment they would want to make well i think it's horrible i think she looks terrific and i can't believe that they would even say anything about her like that. yeah they call her monkey they call her ugly i mean i saw oh. yeah i saw a lot of the, and that she's muscular and uh let me show you the next one because it just shows you how 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 wrong it is and this is who Jennifer Aniston yeah. you're damned if you're too thin and you're damned if you're too heavy according to the press I've been both it's impossible to satisfy everyone and I suggest we stop trying good for her and I just think that I, th I think as we go through this together and support each other I think if we learn things that are really going to take us uh, you know, to the next level, then all of this time will be used for a purpose. Uh, and I, th that's what I want to see come out of this. And I want it to be 
all of us contributing, not just one one person always talking to everybody else because this is a group effort. We have become an optimal health community. I know from talking to people who have not been able to be in the challenge that they have said to me, and it's true for me, that I am so much better when I'm in the challenge than I am when I'm out of the challenge. And I'm also... Um, it's easier. The challenge makes it easier for me to keep my focus on what matters most. Does anybody else feel that way? Uh, yes. Yeah. Anybody anxious for September 7th to get here? Yeah, I am. Not I'm me. My birthday. Oh, I have to say. <laughs> How old are you, Don? I'll be 54. All right. Oh, well, we'll sing. We'll sing happy birthday on the 8th to you. How about that? <laughs> and I heard back from Molly. She is supposed to be off of there. Oh, so, so, to so Molly, her off. Okay, so I'll take care of that. So has, <laughs> it, has anybody heard the word smize? I want something new every week that you don't know. No, I haven't. I've never heard that. Good. No. So now, you know what we learned last week, right? CAPTCHA. Did you know what CAPTCHA okay. is, uh, Katie? No. So, you know, when you, you got those little random letters that you copy in a box so the system knows a human being is behind that message? Yeah. Okay. So it started out as just random letters, and the guy that created it said that he wanted to see that time used to produce something, and he created reCAPTCHA, and reCAPTCHA is where uh, they take old books and they transcribe them, and that uh, software, the OCR that they use, uh, can read 70% of these old books, but uh, there's 30% they can't read. So they, th they throw one of those words out of the book it can't read and puts a, a word they do know, and then they present it to 10 people. And once they get back what the word is correctly, then it's transcribed for the book. They have now transcribed 750 million books. Oh my God. Isn't that cool that you're doing something and you don't even know you're doing it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so here's my funny for the night. The worst place to have a heart attack is during the game of charades, especially if the people are you playing with are really bad guessers. <laughs> All right, guys. So when the, when the, uh, next week when we meet for Zoom, uh, I hope we have more of the people from the room, and I appreciate everybody uh, participating tonight so I get to share this tomorrow. I didn't share last week's Zoom because it was so uh, in and out, and I didn't really think people wanted to see all of our mess last week, so we just uh, didn't trans like, transcribe that and put it up. We'll do that for this one. Okay. So good night. I'm going to turn off Thanks. the record, but you